Hello Libra and welcome to your November love reading. Okay, so we have nine of wands, three of coins in a verse, nine of cups. That's interesting, that card is the one that popped out earlier. Ten of coins reverse, queen of coins, seven of cups. Okay, I first want to tell you here, there's a lot of karmic energy around Saturn. There's also a lot of, come on camera, obstacles. And yeah, you're not letting each other go, first of all, luck. But we see that there are, there are karmic situations and that is just 100% not surprising. And it's a validation of the hells that we already saw, the obstacles to overcome. Yeah, we're gonna get more into this, but look. What somebody's stepping on, it's a mistletoe. That is what that is here, guys. I think we're probably going to pull some messages from their higher self today. I wanna see if your person is wanting to send you a kiss. The Queen of Swords. Also, by the way, what's the Queen of Pentacles? And you know what? It's more Capricorn and more Saturn energy. And this Queen of Pentacles was a star. Look at that, guys. You had a star in roll, I want to say, in the mystery reading turned twin flame reading. So I really do recommend that you check that out. Look, three is the most I'll take. That is the divine, guys. And what's going on here? It is the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. Here's the thing, that big sigh, I know. It's because this is really also connecting us to the Strength card, which we saw twice already, validating that. And also what we're seeing here with the True Love reading cards that came down for you, that there's a whole lot of, yeah, there's a whole lot of going, going in your head, for both of you, you and your person, and fantasizing. It might be heavier on one side. I'm going to leave it at that. Look, the reunion energy, it's not only here, the laurel wreath, but it's also being worn. And look at this coat on this horse, a very emotional horse. Horses can get through obstacles. What is this horse doing? It's looking away like there's something they don't want to look at. There's fear here, and there are other people and or obstacles here. Look, we see them, guys. We see them here. Six is connecting us directly to Venus, the planet of love, harmony, relationships. And somebody is holding that wand up, but the horse is not really moving. Look at the coat that the horse is wearing. It is it has heart chakra written all over it all over it. There's so much Neptune energy here of, of just, yeah, there's a whole lot of thinking about you. And I think it's both of you. It's so strong. Your, your connection is, yeah, really. And that is a twin flame connection, guys. When you come together, it's who? It's the Empress, Venus energy. Yeah, there's the planet of love again. Look what the inverse is wearing. This big, long heart chakra coat dress, of course, holding her scepter. There's the star. There's the star card finding a way in again. A lot of hope, I feel, in this, this connection, in this reading today. Also getting that clarity. And what clarity is that? Well, I do feel that we see this here, guys, that there, there is a lot of, there's a lot of stuff unsaid in this connection. You're really wanting to hear from your person. And interestingly enough, look, it's coming down here. The Empress coming today is really connected. Well, always, but what I'm feeling here, the Empress is really connected to the fifth chakra. That is the throw chakra. And that's, yeah, somebody coming along and speaking their truth. I feel two different things going on here. Look, it's catty corner. I'm gonna show you this as well. 
This was a really key player in Capricorn's reading, by the way, and look, it's right below Cap Capricorn, Capricorn, excuse me, in Saturn, the Four of Pentacles. This is the partnership placement. Gimper's card is catty corner here with the Four of Pentacles. You're, you're just not letting each other go. But there's a lot that has that needs to be said, whether you get a message or you're sending a message, because here's what I feel today. I feel that you are really, well, it's very clear that you're also thinking a lot about your person. By the way, you already know this. I don't need to tell you there is no gender in tarot. The Empress is divine feminine energy, first of all. But I feel, look, this is representing a floral oil wreath, which is being in energy, which we also see where did that go here in your person's naughty corner. It's something that you're both thinking about, but I feel you here so connected to the mystery turned twin flame reading a little bit forlorn and thinking about this connection a lot. See, look down at the pentacle that is about commitments thinking about your person, thinking if you're going to see your person again. The Empress coming right down below is also telling me that you might be speaking some truth to your person, whether that is possibly you thinking about, or maybe some of you, I feel, may have sent a message already, thinking about sending a message or possibly responding to a message here. But there's something you want to say to your person you're kind of in and out here, in and out. And what do I mean by that? And it's so connected to the mystery turn twin flame reading is doing good, not doing so good, doing good, not doing so good. But you're coming up here. And why? Well, I feel it. And we still need to get more cards here, guys. But this is how it's going today. Total lunar eclipse energy is ongoing for three months after the event. Puts this around. February, I want to say. That energy is so strong. It's a culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. It is, yeah, emotions, attachments, beliefs, whatever, that no longer serve us. It, it's, a, it's a deeply transformative time, deeply transformative time. It really is a, yeah, Emotional cleansing, I want to say, and it's setting your intentions for renewal. Re just really renewal and rejuvenating in the coming months here, guys. And the star card made its way in here twice, that validation of the strength card. By the way, really strong divine feminine energy. And that star card is connecting us directly with the energy that I feel here. It is renewal. It's hope. There's a lot of, yeah, the energy is really, really strong between you and your person now. But a lot of what I feel is going on here, if you're here at this reading today and you're resonating with this reading today, it's a real particular reading for particular twin flames. And it, it, it's you looking here, look, looking down at this pentacle, setting your intention. Look what is right underneath it. Not just maybe speaking the truth to your person, whether they write first or they don't, are you right? Or even so, a lot of you sending those intentions telepathically. But this is you setting the intentions for yourself. This is you speaking the truth to yourself. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? There is a side eye looking over right now, looking right over here, holding on to that scepter, the power of life. And I know that it's... It's emotional. It's probably not what you want to hear. First of all, there's the divine again, by the way, divine timing. It's not always that union is for every twin flame in this lifetime. We know that, guys. Okay? So, I feel the imagining it, the thinking about it, really strong. It comes through so strong in your reading today. But, and, and yeah, the emotions that I'm feeling are not even cups. This is the Empress, guys, and this can also be about new love and new beginnings. And I feel sad because you. I feel you going in and out and wanting the love that you deserve and you should be getting and going for, I have to say to you, but afraid that if you move too far 
energetically, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, whatever, that you might disconnect it. You can't cut a twin flame cord, but it's important that you ascend. It's earth angel, and you already know that, that your job is to awaken. You're, you're either just being awakened or you're awake here now. I feel like you, in this particular reading, are already awake. You're just not really detaching and surrendering to the journey yet. You're in and out. You talk yourself into it, but it's not really happening. Look here, guys. My gosh. Please show us the cards. Aho. Okay. This is coming off. Look, there's two of them here. This is too many, but I saw this. So this is yours. Yeah. And these are yours. And this is the overall energy. It's the Justice card. Look. The King of Cups here in the naughty corner. Wow. The Justice card, guys, is his is to inflame here. Situation going on. Fate. Karmic law, spiritual justice, karmic debts, karmic situations. Whew. And look, the Four of Pentacles is right below it. I have to move some things over here to make things fit. Here, just a minute, guys. The truth, what you want to hear from your person, you may not ever get it from your person, but it's clear that you want it. Look at this. However, wow, guys. I still feel that you're needing to get real, so to speak, and speak some truths to yourself. But look, the Queen of Swords is looking right at the Six of Wands on the horse. Passionate energy. Look at that red coat sitting on the coat of the horse, which is all this love. But the horse is looking over like, I'm not going there. I can't. I can't go there. Uh, they're kind of looking away. There's something there. And we know that. We see it. And look, it's in the naughty corner, too. Some of that is the emotions that your person has been holding back because of the triggering. And some of that is the karmic situation. You want to hear something from your person? Boy, guys, it is just very goosebumpy here. But you also need to tell yourself some truths. And look... The Queen of Swords, Libra ruled by Venus. There's Venus again, the planet of love. And it's the Queen of Swords chasing for the truth. Look, you're chasing, you're chase. This is a chaser chasing a runner. But like I said, I don't feel that you're always on the chase. You kind of go in and you come out. And right now it is a really deeply transformative time and I feel like you're resisting this change a little bit look we see you in the hangman energy this is a really strong period of uncertainty this is also you and boy did this come through for Capricorn not everyone here knows a Capricorn I just want to send that through but this is coming through for you of needing that paradigm shift what do I mean by that look of going about things differently, detaching, total surrender here, guys. It is really deeply transformative. You are right at this key moment of your ascension and needing to detach, but then the opposite happens. You detach, it's almost like when we decide we're not gonna eat something, right? <laughs> and then suddenly we don't all day, and then by the end of the night, we're like, Forget it. <laughs> you just eat the whole back or whatever it is. That's the energy that I feel here. Because there's so much you want to hear from your person. And you're both thinking about being together, but it's clear that it's just not in the cards. So to speak, literally, think not just figuratively, it's here. The hangman energy is an only time will tell energy. We see you're both holding on to each other and the Four of Pentacles, the Saturn and Capricorn energy. We also see, look, the city behind. It's other people. For some of you, this is long distance energy. It's not going to be for everyone. You know, 
what you should be doing <laughs> on this journey for yourself, but you're, I just feel you're having a hard time and you're in that heen man energy. And did we see the hermit card or am I imagining that in the cut deck? I feel like we saw the hermit card. Anyway, the hermit card is making its way in and you, you kind of go back and forth between the hangman and the hermit card. The hermit card is nine and that's connecting you directly to Mars and what is Mars? Well, Mars is a planet of action. There's a beginning and there's an end. And I almost feel like it's kind of like, yeah, two steps forward, four steps back. It's sort of like this. And that is really, that is, I wouldn't say twin flame journey in a nutshell, but that is, yeah, struggling to detach. It is a particular point in time where you are in your twin flame journey of getting close, going back, doing good, you know, getting out of the hangman, jumping into that hermit card energy, going up into the 10, starting a new cycle, and then you kind of go back again. Right now, it's really clear that there's a chaser looking for some truth that they might not get. This card, <laughs> we're going to talk about this as well, too, and the King of Cups, and Ease of Pentacles, what the heck? This card, look, it's a gingerbread little gingerbread cookie there hiding behind the snow. The snow, quiet, somewhat cold. Who is, who is that gingerbread here? Who is this messenger here, guys? When birds are coming into my reading, they are about twin flame ascension. And I feel like this messenger is coming over and getting on your shoulder and saying, hello, <laughs> come on. Don't forget, stop chasing, detach, stop chasing. It's not good for you and you know that. But you do, look, they have their back there. They have been holding on to their feelings for various reasons. This is the King of Cups. The King of Cups, so much water energy coming through. And the moon, the moon guys, we saw that really from the get-go in your reading, and that's the fear coming in. And that's a lot of stuff that your person isn't seeing yet, but I don't feel that your person knows that they're on what this is, okay? There's a connection here, clearly. There's a lot of thinking here, clearly. A lot of passionate energy. And yeah, there's a lot of escapism, not just in the mind, your person, yeah. But also quite literally a runner, and it's interesting because you see the Six of Wands and that can be telling us that there's good news coming, guys. And somebody's going to maybe win somebody over. Look, did things just change here? As I said that, look, the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus coming through, holding that pentacle here. Look at the archway going in, this laurel reef, going into the home where you both feel curling out home with each other, but it's covered in snow. It's, it's an always like, and that's why I wanted to say about the six of wands. Today you're reading in this deck today, it is not your person jumping on the white horse with all these emotions and coming to push through all the obstacles. Is your person thinking about it? Yeah. Are they thinking about other things? Yeah. Are you? Yes. But this is, this is more of a lot of the Neptune energy of escaping and thinking about that connecting, of course, energetically, but physically, your person is still on the run here. And this is, it's cold and frozen over and quiet. It's like a, it's like a dream state for me, guys. That's an interesting look because it just moved here right underneath. Yeah, it's not that your person is not thinking about it. They are. But I am getting some energy that they're, yeah, I don't want to say cold, but the triggering that went on in your person, on their, your person is still on the run and it's quiet. They're thinking about a lot of different things in this connection. Hello, I just looked up. I have no idea where that ended. So I'm just going to go back here. The queen is chasing down what should be good news. It's almost like you're 
It's interesting because that's the strength card coming in again. Now, I mean, it came in, we saw it twice, and it's, it's still here, guys. It's you wanting to manifest that when you get in the chase mode because you're coming in, you're coming out. You're, you know it's good for you, and you go into the hangman and the hermit energy, and you, you make lists, and you think about what you need to do, and you know, and then you kind of go back, and you go back into chase mode. But that Clean of Swords energy of wanting clarity here and chasing the Six of Wands, who has the news, who has the good news. I feel like there's a lot of manifesting for that, wanting that. But at times for you, it's just a little, it's a little bit too much. You might be torturing yourself with checking up on their social media or talking to other people that maybe you're connected to. And it's not that I'm seeing this and saying, hey, guys, stop it. <laughs> you were, we're, we're, go, we're still in that total lunar, lunar eclipse energy. It's, it's time for you. It's not serving you anymore. I, I, I feel that and that message, it's coming through from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. But I'm not saying that to you, and I never would. It's just that it's not serving you is what I want to say. It's hurting you to be looking at their social media to be, yeah, just... All the, the daydreaming to an extent keeps you, pulled you back. And that's where this comes in again. And this connects with the reading. The mystery reading turned twin flame reading. It's the forlorn looking down. The forlorn energy that I get. Surrounded by the reunion wreath. You're just dead set on it looking. But you know, you, you put your head up. I can see it. If this car is coming alive, your head would be coming up here. Because look, Justice is saying, hello, Twin Flame. Look, there's a side eye over here. Justice, the <laughs> Justice is saying, come on. You know here. This is, yeah. The Justice card is an 11. That's a master number. And it's about a new beginning. But this is a beginning for you. And this is, I feel, your, your ascension here guys and living the life that you're in it doesn't mean you care any less for your twin flame but on a twin flame journey there is a runner and we see the runner of all things and you might be really manifesting not just union but manifesting a message to come and that's why to keep seeing the strength card too because it is connected to that hope but it's also connected to you needing the renewal and the star card, of course, is connected to the strength card. And that is a really, really very clear message from your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. So clear. I'm just chilled right now to the bone because this message needs to get to you is self-care and self-love and taking care of yourself and having the courage to do that, to look up here and go ahead and jump into this hangman energy, this, this time of uncertainty yeah this indecisiveness that kind of keeps you stuck sometimes there's some inaction energy going on here and it's needing to yeah take action and that's for you i want to say karmic bets lessons yeah I mean, it's the Twin Flame journey it's the justice card it's the overall energy and it's a major arcana card guys and it can be about the truth coming out. But like I said, it's so strange because almost a lot of the messages here today, probably with the exception maybe of the Queen of Pentacles, saw even just because when, when messages are meant for you in reverse, they come to me. I don't need the, the card to go in reverse. It's almost like the cards are doing this to the <laughs> It's like here, here, and here. That's the feeling in this because that's you going in and you going out and it's just not serving you is what I want to say you have it's really I feel that for a lot of you 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 are both in situations here whether it's karmic situation or with a life partner with a soulmate whatever that's going to be there is karmic energy here it's quite strong not everything is for everybody always take what's for you let the rest go Use your free will. Your person also has free will. Energies and outcomes, they can, they do, and they will change. 
but this is, I'm, I'm only able to come to you here. And this truth that you want from your person, look at you chasing it. And this is not about gender, guys. Look, chasing it, looking down. And instead of getting up and going here and then maybe completely jumping into that permit card energy or even going down here and starting something new for yourself here, possibly a new love. If you go here, think about, think, you know, and four can be a number of manifesting, by the way. So you jump over here and you, you manifest and then you're like, yeah, this is what I want. This clarity, because you didn't get it. The sword is cut off. We see that. Still have the hope. It's right there. And you jump on that throne. I feel like it has wheels. <laughs> I feel like it has wheels. Look, holding your candy cane. Maybe trying to come come out, uh, you know, this kind of in and out. I, this is the thing. I don't feel it being aggressive or rough. I just like it's harsh on you. And you're not listening to your downloads, to your messenger. That's spiritual ascension. That's your messenger. That's spirit. Kind of come to you and say, okay, go back here and jump into the Empress. You're even the hangman energy or even this King of Cups energy, guys, and release that those fears that you're also holding on to and look at what you need to look at. This is a really emotional energy here. And yeah, as your person holding on to a lot of it, they are. And are you saying, I want to hear it. I want to hear this. I want to hear that. I want a message or something. They're not looking back. You just, yeah, you might not get it. And even if you were, to be, somebody said to you, yeah, you're going to get that, but it's going to take this amount of time. And in the meantime, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. I think you would say, do you take option A, drive yourself crazy or take option B and live the life you're in and do the things for yourself to go toward your life purpose, to love those around you, to love yourself, to have the, that courage. Which option do we choose? I know you think, well, if that will maybe get union or get a message, I'll keep going that road. But it won't because your person has free will and the divine has a plan. Spirit has a plan. Divine timing coming through here. Also, the chasing is not going to bring a twin flame. You're not just going to magically jump off the horse. They won't. They might. Maybe, you know, I don't believe in spills. I don't think they're... Uh, that's just me, okay? Not going to tell you what to believe ever, <laughs> or ever. Just want to say, if you were to do a spell like some people tell you to do, I'm not you, but it, I've seen it, of course, I know about it, and, and it were really going to work, you're going against spiritual law, karmic what you can't. They'll, it'll turn on you, okay? Manifesting a twin flame, it's not really working. Manifest for yourself here, a new beginning, whatever that's going to be for you. Okay. It doesn't mean new love. Some of you have partners that you maybe don't want to stay with. Some of you have partners that you want to get closer to you, get closer to, excuse me, your soul child. Children for some of you obviously comes through in the Empress card, real direct the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles for some of you. Manifesting your life is what I want to say. Because your twin flame is going to do their work and they're doing their work. They're paying. There's some karmic debts here. There are. And you can't stop that is what I want to say. To the Ace of Pentacles again. <clears throat> it's the moved here. It was here. Okay. That just got moved back as I said it. It just. I got to tell you. But sometimes it's mind blowing to me too, you guys. It's mind blowing. Look, the Queen of Swords right there, but look what's here is the King of Cups, who is a master of emotions, who's going to crack open, possibly, and let it all loose. Look at those candy canes. It's all going to melt away, all that snow and the coldness, and it's all here watery. Look, it's like it melted here. My gosh, you guys. You're chasing them and saying, tell me this. I want to hear this. You know, you want this relief, but it's just... And I know, you know, if you're still here, then this is your reading. You're, you, I can't tell you that you're going to get that relief. Your person has free will. And do you take option A or B? A or B. Yourself. You choose yourself, of course. 
divine timing. Spirit has a plan. Divine has a plan. It's what it is. Your person has free will. They're doing their thing. When you stop chasing and allow a runner to get into their shadow work, if a union is meant in this lifetime, and I mean a 3D union, then it, so it shall be. 5D union, yeah. Not everybody is there in this reading. 5D union is a whole other thing. That's getting on the other side. Some of you are already there saying, yeah, that's where I am. And some of you think you're there sometimes, but you come in and out of it, you know, and you go and you think about it and you think about what you want. Look at all the presents. It's a gift. It's like somebody bringing something to you, hoping for news, hoping they'll write whatever. And yeah, you can communicate energetically between 4 and 5D, but really being... And union in the 5D is something else. It's another side. It doesn't mean even when you get into 5D union, guys, that everything is just so you never think about them. It's not the case. You do. Of course you do. And you can go in little bits in, of here and there and, and of course, connecting telepathically. And maybe for some of you, there's even some real life seeing your person. Not for everybody. But it's a whole lot less emotional and heavy when you are in 5D union. And I just feel here that a lot of you are not there yet. And that's where we want to get you. Okay. Well, you're reading, guys. I want to read some infinity um, cards. And then I'm going to get some tea leaf and end the reading today on an angel card. Because this is really gone on a long time. Thank you, spare kites, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Oh. Ah. oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. 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 Your person is uh, uh, paying some karmic debts right now. And yeah, there's a lot of karmic energy here. We already know it. And it's, it's a validation. And I know that you want this too. You want to hear what keep you chasing that. You want. I know. I understand that. It's normal. We want to get you on the other side. Want that truth for yourself, okay? Manifest you. Manifest you, beautiful twin flame. This is hanging off. Soul recognition. Yeah. I, you know that already. This is a message coming through that your person does too. So a lot of you are in 5D already, but some of you are not quite there yet. Guys, <laughs> it's so emotional and so I, you probably hear it and see it. I just wish I could reach in and yeah, talk to you in person. The cards have been alive this week. I didn't hear cards today. The Queen of Pentacles has been lifting up her head. The Justice card has been giving a side eye. You have wheels on the Queen of Swords today. And a lot of these cards are spinning. It's, um, yeah, okay. Challenges. We know that. We didn't need this card to tell us, did we? But it is a confirmation look, and it's right here coming with you. And you remember... This is not about divine feminine, divine masculine the positions, if you know what I mean. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies. And they, of course, a lot of times are unbalanced here. This is your energy is what I wanted to say. And the challenges card wanted to be there. And so did the hells card. And there's a lot of this going on with both of you, but it's real heavy with you. And it's all part of the torture that you go in and out of. Okay, where is this shame coming from? I feel like I need a little bit more, but it can also be connected here to... If this is the case for some of you, and, and it is, it's the message I'm hearing. And I just don't... Gosh, I don't want to deliver a hit it. Because I... Well, I know it's not for everyone, but somebody needs to hear it. There's a connection to shame for some of you here, not just in your shadow work. That's clear, and that's partly why maybe you're coming in and out, because going in and looking at your stuff is not feeling safe, okay? Release that shame, first of all. It's not your fault, whatever happened to you. It's not your fault. Let it go, okay? We don't like this word. But for some of you, too, 
it is coming through that there's shame and attack and attachment to the twin flame journey and where you're at and thinking you shouldn't be here or you should be here or something to do with your life's journey possibly some of your karmic debts whatever it is release it let it go write it down and in your fireplace or a really safe place but perform a ritual okay if you're if you're connecting with this today I want you to write this down. This is coming from me, Christine, and perform a ritual and let it go, okay? And then go in for go in first and find out where is this coming from. Get that written to all of it and release it. Feel it. Be in it as long as you need to, guys. Days, weeks, months, and release it, okay? This has no place in your life no place and yeah there's some shame coming from your person but I'm closing that channel now I'm not going there anymore I'm just not because they are on the run it's I literally feel like I'm 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 being told to back off here okay and that's what I'm gonna do and this is yours not yours and then we're going to close this and end on an angel card today I think I think I'm done with the tea leaves, guys. I'm sorry. It just doesn't, it feels done. And I need to start with this today. I normally go with the third or the middle. Yeah, no? Okay. There, <laughs> there's in me to do this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know it's scary. I know that. You got to get in it. You got to, you know, turn this little, this, um, <laughs> why am I suddenly... Why is it suddenly escaping me throne, which I feel has wheels? It does. Figure it in. We turn it around and go this way, okay? Drive around here and rear and go right in. <laughs> and pick up the Queen of Pentacles. Go down and pick up the Empress. Go pick up the Hangman. Pick everybody up. Go ahead and drive around here. Get everybody. Also, get the good news for yourself. Pick up the King of Cups. Everybody here and go back to this Ace of Pentacles house. The cozy fire get rid of what you need to get rid of get around your soul family do your work you guys this is just i don't know it's this message coming through to you to just yeah you needs to be directed to you okay whoever told you you're not this or you're not that or you can't do this they are liars it's not true perfect your life's journey doesn't need to be some big finale. It's not the finale and the destination. That is the journey. That, that is the destination, is the journey. Okay? Get around the people who support you, your soul family, your soul tribe. I don't care if it's one person, your soul animal that give you the unconditional love. That I feel that you're really, that's why we're just getting in, in and out of this chase here. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is very clearly yours. This is really, gosh, you guys, <laughs> I know. I just get so, um, I go into your pain, and this is, it's, yeah, this is just a lot of fear here about the future, about where you're at now, about what you have to do to get to certain places, but you got to start one, just one foot, okay, and chase yourself here guys it's your person afraid yeah but i'm done talking about your person i'm done actually no this is staying here this is a really huge validation for you this is literally your spirit guides angels and ancestors not just circling you here over your crown chakra here look at that this messenger this this bird here, they're not just circling you anymore. They're going to come and chase you and just start boop, boop, like the birds and just come and say, listen, jolts, jolts of, of are you listening to me? This is one of those readings that your spirit guides, angels and ancestors really want you to hear them. They want to help you here, guys. Turn this queen of swords around, which is so weird. It's got this chariot energy too which is taking action it's changing it's a journey it's moving forward 
and it's the moon energy too, the chariot making her way in here, my gosh. Past the fear, what you need to look at, the subconscious. Some of it is conscious and yeah. This is going right here. You'll bias. Yeah, this is that cold energy that we felt and also where the emotions are. We know that. But this is also about the time. This is the divine timing and, and time, timing, time needed to you. You can't just unfreeze a lake overnight or an ocean. My gosh, like Michigan is coming through. If you ever seen those videos of those big chunks of ice keep rolling off, you first, your first sign of spring doesn't just melt them all, okay? Your person's where your person is and we're here with you and we want to, we want to unfreeze this and we want you to get into that King of Cups and release it somewhere safe around people you love. Taking care of yourself, of course, but getting out of the stuck hangman energy that I feel you're in this inaction, this indecisiveness about what you want here. Having power struggles with yourself. Beautiful twin flames. Oh, beautiful twin flames. I want to get you an angel card today and we're going to close your reading. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Can you please show us the card or cards as it may be a hope? Communication. The angels remind you that being spiritual, about being genuine and honest. I read it wrong, you guys. The angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest. When you speak from the heart, others feel the resonance of truth and trust you. Talk positively, focus on the good in life, and you will feel happier and healthier. Communication is a two-way process. Listen with interest and respond openly. This will improve all relationships. Communicate constantly with source. Using prayer, which is asking, and meditation, which is listening. Always keep channels of communication open. Be a bridge to others, hearts and minds. Ask your angel to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way through you. They are so here for you today, guys. They're listening. Apply this word needs to be applied. The people in your life, especially yourself. The affirmation, I communicate clearly and honestly. That's your reading today, beautiful twin flames. I love you. I wish you well, all things good. Love and light on your journey. All the links are below. You know what's down there. I'll see you at your next reading. Take very good care of yourselves.